everyone, welcome back to Let's Play The Sims Scott Legacy. So, <laughs> Lilith is here getting ready to get off work in a couple of hours. Oh no, she broke the x-ray machine. <laughs> but she is going to get promoted. Um, <laughs> so we're going to just um, hang out with her for the last little bit and um, try to see if we can get um, her goals up a little bit more. We'll, we'll go ahead and see if we can break the treadmill too while we're here. Um, if they'll do it. For some reason Bill is very angry. Who knows what's wrong with Bill though. Bill has some underlying issues it seems. <laughs> Why? I guess we had to come over here. Now if they go all the way back to the treadmill that's going to be pretty irritating. <laughs> Why? And he's walking so slow. But we have less than an hour before we get off work, get our promotion, and then we're going to go out on a date with our husband. And we're going to get to see another restaurant that I created. Um, I made over the Narwhal Arms nightclub in Windenburg. Made it into a fancy yeah. restaurant. Yeah kept the name the same, <laughs> but I think I made it look pretty nice, so I'm excited to see um, if the atmosphere has any effect on their moodlets or not. And also I'm hoping that maybe we can see some of the romantic interactions because I swear that they said that they had new ones, but you know what? I might have, you know, not heard them correctly or thought that I read something I really didn't read. I think he has itchy plum bob. Can we diagnose him yet? No, and I'm not extending our day, so sorry Bill, we're just gonna leave you hanging there. What is she doing? Is she like frozen? It's what appears to be. She's just frozen there. Let's see if she can go here. Yeah, okay. And here we go. Here's our promotion. So now she is level 9 in the doctor career. She has been promoted to surgeon, will make an additional $50 per hour for a grand total of $245 per hour. She's also received a $1,496 bonus and Skelly Sim, which would probably be really cute in Trinity's room, so we might go ahead and put that there. But she earned $2,535 and a vacation day. All right, and I heard some sort of music play during the loading screen, so I'm not sure if maybe somebody leveled something up perchance. Um, I had them working on some stuff. Well, hold on just a second. So he's out here doing some yoga. Probably not hungry, no. And, uh, but Lilith is super hungry, and no, you're not going to eat franks and beans. And actually, before they head out. I just want to check and see what her, well let me see what her formal wear is before we drag her into create a sim. I know one of them's probably her wedding outfit. Um, we've got that one and then we have, what's this, probably her wedding outfit unless I changed it already. Oh yeah, that's her wedding outfit. Uh, congrats on the big promotion, Lilith. Do you want to celebrate tonight? Oh. That sounds like fun, but we're going out on a date with our husband, unfortunately. Which, you know, so I was playtesting another restaurant that I also built, because apparently I've been on a restaurant building kick. <laughs> but kids can get these little like play dates too and I thought that was really cute and it hasn't happened in this household but it apparently can happen. My Sims child did not know the child that invited him for a play date but obviously once they were at their house they were able to um, get to know them. So let's change her back into her other formal wear although I know that they'll probably change again. We're going to have him go ask her out on a date so we can make it an official date. 
And she's just kind of standing there chilling. And oh my gosh, look at the ice oh. llama sculpture. Oh, the um, new lighting Mountain makes that look really awesome. So. <laughs> All righty. Let's see. So here it is. We're going to go here. All right. Here they are. And awesome he put his fancy suit on and they both look very very nice let's go in here and i want to enable this um aura so that everyone in the restaurant gets a flirty um mood going on and then let's see let's actually stake out a table we'll be like a booth or hmm I think we would like a booth and I kind of like this one over here with the windows but let's see yeah let's go for this one let's request this table and I used the Baroque station for um, music in this restaurant and I think it actually suits it pretty well all right and he looks actually kind of French with that mustache, so that's pretty appropriate. Alright, so Lilith is sitting there, and I don't know why, but they keep wanting to go talk with the bartender. And that is not what I want them to do. So, let's see. Ooh, see? Hot dinner day. Awesome. That's kind of something I was hoping to see. That's really cute. Um, but let's go ahead and have them <laughs> draw on placemat. Um, let's have them order some stuff. Let's actually try this since it is um, the chef's choice. That means it's discounted from what it normally is. Um, we also have quite a bit of um, alcoholic beverages, but. I like the um, Love Potion and the Cupid Juice. If I didn't have that one thing that was making them flirty, I would probably have them order that. And let's see, should we get them an appetizer? I'm kind of thinking that we should stuff their faces. Um, I wish they could share because that would be so cute. But let's see, this is um, something new. Cured Meat Crisps. Um, let's get that for... Whoops, I forget. But um, yeah, let's do that, and then we will have them get a main course as well. Even though uh, Jackson is not hungry at all, where are they going? Uh oh, uh oh. <laughs> Something's happening. What's happening? I'm not quite sure what's happening why they all felt the need to get up. Were they arguing with each other, maybe? Because they seem to... Um, but let's have these two interact a little bit more. <laughs> because they need to do some flirty things so he can be enticing. Um, he can oh, flirt, and let's see, he'll sexy pose for her. <laughs> Whoop, the booth had disappeared for a minute. Very cute. <laughs> let's have them have a couple deep conversations. <laughs> I love Lilith. She's just so fun. <laughs> she reminds me so much of Lillian, the founder of my legacy. <laughs> but I guess that is to be expected since they are um, related to each other. And I gave them the same hairstyle and <laughs> whatnot. So. Socialize about meal. Can we do that yet? Because we haven't actually gotten our food, so I don't think we can. 
he could share some mixology hey, secrets with her. Oh, <laughs> that is. <laughs> oh, here is our food. Yay. That looks pretty good. Uh-oh, wait, wait a second. Okay, it's normal quality, but there's some aura coming off of it. Which I discovered how Simstagram works. Um, you take the photo of your food, and then you can upload it. So... <laughs> I like how they're really, um, <laughs> and it's actually a collection, so if you go down here and you click on that, um, let's put the fish away, you get, you can take pictures of all the different experimental foods, and, um, oh look, here we go, it's got a description too, it says, flavor sealed in by the solar curing process really pops when bitten into. And it's eco-friendly, or hashtag eco-friendly. So that's that's pretty cool, actually. I'm actually I'm enjoying the experimental food, which I don't think there's really a whole lot of experimental food available at this restaurant that I put on the menu. Um, we could have them. I'm guessing that's her food, even though she was standing way over there. Um. So, let's order, you know, the next round of food, and um, I'll see if there's any more experimental food on the menu, but if not, I just built um, an Asian fusion style restaurant, which, woman, um, please go away, we're trying to have a date here. Um, <laughs> theme, blissful feelings of food transcendence, wow, that's interesting um but anyway the new restaurant that i built has quite a bit more oh he didn't like something there um of the experimental foods because a lot of them remind me of sort of asian type dishes none of it is specifically asian but it kind of reminded me of some of the different uh unique foods that you would see at either Thai, Japanese, Chinese, oh, yeah, you know, yeah. type restaurants and menus. So Lilith has tasted the wonders of experimental food and now understands the complex flavors involved. Can cook this dish at home using their personal chef station, which we do not own, but we might buy in the future. So let's go ahead and get her another drink and he's gonna, whoops, he's gonna have himself another glass of wine and then we're going to see if I put any other experimental dishes on the menu I don't believe that I did but hmm, lamb sounds really good and lobster tortellini even though I don't like lobster <laughs> sounds pretty good so we'll have them get that we're racking up quite the bill <laughs> um, can we tell you to go away <laughs> This woman is taking our order, okay. So, this is, oh gosh, are you getting sick? Uh, we have another movelet down here, fabulous finish. The journey led to an incredibly flavorful finish that did not disappoint. So apparently we paired our food and nectar well. Um, let's see, interesting taste. It kind of tastes like plastic and makes strange sounds, but it's also a work of art. Art, I tell you. <laughs> and she's getting really sleepy, but you know what? We still have more eating to be done, and even though it's going on midnight. Um, we can't talk about meal anymore, so we really do need them to bring out the other dishes. So that we can, you know... <laughs> She's still talking to her. I don't. Yes, we want this to just be about us. And oh no! Come on, hurry up and bring us our food. <laughs> Let's quit the that conversation and see if this will help us out. Nope. I really wish there was a way to kick 
other sins out of the group conversation, but there isn't that I know of. Alright, their food... Uh-oh. Hers is poor, but his is normal. That's a little disappointing from a... what I would see as a five-star restaurant. Um, but let's talk with her about food a little bit more. Discuss the flavors. We'll have her complain about her dish since it's not really... I wonder if we could actually complain to the waitress. Oh, hold on, lady. Um, restaurant? Insult to the chef. I don't know who, um, cooked our food. Um, really not sure. <laughs> um, but yeah, let's go ahead and insult the chef. Because, you know, why not? Um, this lady looks like she might be less what experienced. Yeah, so uh, see, no. she's not happy with her lamb at all. Uh-oh. I guess she has to get up, maybe? No. You know, since neither one of them is really hungry anymore, um... Well, here, well, at least drink your drink. And maybe, um, try that again. Stop. <laughs> See if we can insult the chef. <laughs> I think we do need to get up to do this interaction, but for some reason it keeps canceling out. Probably because she's going in the other room. <laughs> but I am determined to insult the chef. <laughs> I want to see what this is going to look like. Oh, she's so tired. I feel so bad. I'm sorry, L Lilith. I'm sorry to hear that you didn't like the food. I will inform the chef as soon as possible. So are you? Oh, she did Customers are furious. What are you doing back there? Pull yourself together and cook better food. Okay. Do we get... There is no manager, though, because nobody... It's, like, NPC-owned. Um, so we can't really do anything as far as that goes. But, um, we'll go ahead and... Pay for our food and send them home. $151. That is a lot of money. Especially since we didn't have very good lamb. Our appetizer was good at least and we were full. Let's have her go use the bathroom. Is he paying for the food yet? What's going on? Is there something going on over here? Because... Why are you just standing there? Oh. Uh, yeah, I'm not... Yeah, no. I guess he ordered something on his own? No. Okay. What's going on? <laughs> Alright, well let's go ahead and send them home. <laughs> Alrighty. Sorry about that. My chair popped very loudly. We'll send them back home. Alright, now that they are home, let's have, um, let's have them finish up their, although she's so tired, so, so tired, let's have them finish off their, um, lovely date night with a little bit of woohoo, and, uh oh, get out of there, kid, get out, get out, go eat, get out of their room, <laughs> or you get trapped in there. Let's see how the grandparents are doing, which I have gotten notifications that both of them are going to be passing away really soon, and that makes me so sad, and I'm not really ready for them to go, so I'm debating on giving them another potion of life, or whatever it's called, I forget. Um, especially since Jasmine didn't get to finish her, um aspiration yet and I had her have Trinity just so she could finish her aspiration so if nothing else Jasmine will get it um, 
you know, Linux did complete his aspiration, and he's been, you know, besides upgrading the stuff around the house, which he still has quite a few things to upgrade for me, um, which is no real biggie. A lot of our stuff is expensive anyway. Whoop, there they go. <laughs> so it's not really, we don't have a lot of things that break and um, get dirty all that much, so it's not super important that he does all that. Um, these two are still working on their childhood aspirations. And he's getting really close, and she's, um, let's see, is she on the last tier? Whoops, wrong button. She is on the last tier, okay. So she just needs to get an A and craft the emotion potions. And I meant to spend more time with her on the weekend doing that, but since she's actually in a good mood right now, let's just stick her over there. Um, <laughs> because that's the one bad thing, is when you have... Just a couple people from your household travel when they come back, even if it's the middle of the night, the rest of the household is in a pretty good mood from taking care of their needs on their own. But anyway, that's not what I wanted to talk about before I ended the part. What I wanted to discuss was this um, experimental food and Simstagram thing. Let's stick this up here on the wall real quick and so see now you can post it on Simstagram. I do not think that it actually does anything like I don't think you can check Simstagram to see like if people like your stuff or anything as far as that goes but um I'm gonna find a wall probably not this wall but I'll use that wall for now and I think we will do the collection of the experimental foods, which I'm trying to think, keep forgetting where everything is located. The super <laughs> there are 20 experimental foods, so I'm not sure if I have all of them on the menus at the restaurants that I have in town. Right now I have three. Um, the diner we went to in the last part, the Narwhal Arms in this part, and then the Asian Fusion restaurant that I just completed today. And I also have a couple more restaurants I want to build, I think. Yes, I want to make a sports bar for Willow Creek. And then I also want to do a seafood restaurant, which I was going to put in Magnolia Promenade. But I actually think there's a better lot for it in Windenburg. So we'll save and go to Manage Worlds real quick so I can take a peek. But um, in the next part... We're probably not going to be going to a restaurant, but I could change my mind. Um, we'll probably just be getting some of the stuff done that the family needs to get done. Lilith is one promotion away from being at the top of her career. And yeah, I might, um, I might take the gym down and put a seafood restaurant right there because I actually prefer the Oasis Springs gym. So... I'll get to that eventually. Um, but anyways, thank you all for watching, and I will see you all next time.